Hunter. I'm a first year student of the University of Toronto Scarborough who wants to study computer science. And uh, in my spare time, I like to play video games. I also like to go hiking, but I'm also really interested in science and maths. Okay. So today we're gonna be talking about forces, right? And then more specifically, we're gonna cover two specific forces. Right? So these are gravity and buoyancy. All right, but first let's talk about what a force is. All right. So in science, when we talk about force, we're talking about the push and pull that happens when an object interacts with another object. Right. And an object is able to interact with another object in a lot of different ways. Right? And they can do so indirectly or they can do so directly. And multiple objects are able to interact with each other at the same time. And these, uh, these forces can sometimes add to each other and make them stronger, or they can cancel each other or make them weaker, right? And forces is measured in Newtons using the, and the shorthand for this is using the letter N, right? So instead of having to write Newton now, we just write the big N. Right? And one Newton is the force like you need to make a one kilogram object go one meter per second quicker in one second. It's a lot of, it's a lot to think about, right? But let's think about it and it might make a bit more sense, right? So there's a lot of different types of forces. And one of these forces, these really important forces is gravity, All right? So what is gravity? Right, gravity is a force that uh, pulls things towards each other. Right. And it's what keeps the planets spinning around the sun. It's what keeps um, everything on Earth stay on Earth. And everything that has a mass has some amount of gravity. And so the Earth, the moon, me and you, um, my, my water bottle, right? everything has gravity. But if it has more mass, then it's going to have more gravity. Okay. And since the, the Earth is heavier than the Moon, and the Moon is a lot heavier than we are, it's going to have a lot more gravity than we are, right? So we can feel the gravity from the Earth, but we can't feel the gravity from each other, right? And then here's something else. So gravity also gets a lot weaker with distance, right? So if you're really far from the Earth, you're going to feel a lot less gravity, right? So that's why astronauts in, in the space stations, right, they, have, they don't feel very much gravity from the Earth because they're really far away they still feel a little bit of it, right? And so let's talk about buoyancy, right? So buoyancy is an upward force that opposes gravity. And uh, if there's no gravity, then there is no buoyancy, right? So what it is is that all fluids exert a buoyant force, okay? And um, when an object has less density than its surrounding medium, and it will be pushed up into a surrounding medium of equivalent density, right? And an object in an area of, of higher pressure will move into an area with lesser pressure. You know, why I'm saying that is because pressure and density are proportional. But okay, maybe you don't know what density means, right? But, but what density is, is very simple, right? So it's just it's the amount of mass within some amount of space, right? So say, um, a balloon and a coconut are very similar in size, right? But a balloon, a balloon is a lot lighter, right? And a coconut is a lot heavier. So that means that the coconut is denser, right? it has more density. And when you think of pressure, think of like a balloon, right? You, you pop up a balloon and you like blow up a balloon and the inside there's a lot of pressure. But when you pop it, it releases all the air and it all comes out. Right. So yeah, so here's this um, diagram, right? So the, the weight of the object pushes it down, right? And that's gravity pulling it down towards the, the ground. Then the buoyant force opposes that, right? And then if these forces are equal, then it's gonna float. But if, it, but if gravity is stronger than the buoyant force, then it gets pulled down, okay? So there's other forces in water too, and we're gonna talk about them. So other than the gravity and buoyant force is also the thrust and drag. Thrust is what makes something go forwards. And drag 
is the force that opposes thrust and tries to stop you from going forwards. And so when you're swimming, your hand pushes against the water and then exerts a lift force for you upwards and forwards, right? So your arm is pushing down and then opposed to that, it's gonna be the lift force and then it goes forwards and it goes upwards as well, right? And then the water exerts a drag force on your hand, right? That's when you're pushing into the water and then you're feeling a bit of resistance, right? That's a, that's a force pushing back against you. And then the resultant force is like, when you add all these forces together, and then you get a resultant force that's that moves the swimmer forward. Okay. And the forces in boats. Okay, so it's actually quite similar, right? It's quite similar in, in, in concept. So on a rowboat, the paddles are sort of like your hands, right? They push down and back into the water and then you go forwards, right? And in a propeller, it's almost sort of like the same idea. So each of these blades, Right, they pull the they they push the water down, and then they push it back. Right, so you can can you picture that? So it's sort of like a fan, right? It pushes it down, pushes it back. So it's sort of like sucking water in and then tossing it out the back, and then moves the boat forward. All right, so that's basically the presentation. But we have an activity, right? So this is just a a little boat with a rubber band motor. Okay. So how this works is that you're going to need a small plastic container that floats, just a couple of popsicle sticks, and a glue or just something to stick things to each other, and then an, elast an elastic band, right? Also a pair of scissors to cut some stuff. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to attach popsicle sticks to the sides of your little container that's going to be your boat, right? And then you're going to put the elastic band to each side of it, you're going to slide the half a popsicle stick through the elastic band. That's where you're going to need the scissor for it. You're going to cut it in half. And then you just twirl it around, twirl it around, and then you release it, put it into the water, and it's going to go forward. Right? Maybe if you do it the other way, it goes backwards. Right? You can experiment with that. Okay? So um, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have, have a good day.